What's up guys, this is Ghana Neo Photography and today I'll be retouching an image from a fellow photographer. He goes by the name TMIDD. I came across him on YouTube and we decided to exchange some raw files. I'll include his Instagram handle and YouTube channel name in the description so make sure you check it out and then check his channel out. This image has been raw processed in Capture One already so we'll just go ahead and then identify the things we need to do. Now before you start retouching, you should already have a couple of points that you want to consider. Now you just don't pick up an image and then just go straight to retouch. You need to identify some of the things you want to work on. So with this zoom at 50%, we will take out some blemishes. Um, use uh, um, frequency separation using the medium and then do some dodging and burning global dodge and burn not a micro one i have separate tutorials on how to do all these three things that i've mentioned blemish removal frequency separation and global dodge and burn so i'll include the links in the description so kindly check the description for these when you're done watching this video don't forget to like this video and share it with people you think will benefit from it so let's start by creating our empty layer for a blemish remover then i press j for my spot healing brush and we zoom in to 100 percent and start taking off blemishes there are different ways of doing blemish remover this is what i prefer using Alright, so step one has been accomplished, which is a blemish remover. So let's do a quick before and after. This is before and this is after. So already by just doing blemish remover, our image is beginning to look the way we want it to look. So we'll save. It's very important to save your progress as you work. So we'll proceed to the second task, which is frequency separation. Now I have my actions here. And oh, I'll include a link to this action in the description so you can download it and then use it. So we go here and this is a Ghana near frequency separation 8 bits using medium. So this pop-up appears here, which is where you choose your radius. So we look at it over here now, 8 doesn't look damn well for me. So let's choose um, 6. I think that's okay for me. Now this radius depends on a couple of factors like resolution, f-stop and a couple of things. So we chose 6 and with this one I made it for redundancy's sake but I hardly need these ones. So I'll go ahead and delete these copies and then we'll keep it. And that saves you some space also on your hard drive. So let's close this and then um, I like viewing everything big as I work but sometimes you need to just step back a bit. Okay so I'll go ahead and disable the high frequency so I get to see only the colors. So on the low frequency I have my mixer brush already selected. It's part of the action so once you play my action it selects these for you and then puts in the values that I use. You can change them to suit what um, you use. So let's start doing frequency separation. Alright, so let's do a quick before and after of our frequency separation. So this is before, this is after. Before, after. If you realize, I turned off the high frequency as I was working on the low frequency because I want to see only color. I don't want um, to see texture so that I'll be able to focus on where I'm supposed to focus. Now that we have this done, uh, we need to take a couple of uh, few blemishes off. So we'll go to the high frequency. 
press S for the clone stamp. You can use any other blemish removal tool, tool that you want, but I prefer using the clone stamp over here at a flow of 10% and the sample should be current layer, not current and below or all layers. It should be just the current layer because you want to work on only the texture. So we sample and then brush. Okay, so after doing that um, second layer of blemish removal on the high frequency, I always love to go back to the low frequency and then use my mixer brush one more time just to clear out any other um, color shifts that I may have caused during the blemish removal. Okay, so I think we are happy with this. So we'll move to the next one, which is Global Dodge and Burn. With Global Dodge and Burn, sometimes I use the one from Harry or I create my own. It's very, very easy creating, but since I already have it here, let me just run it. You don't necessarily need to use this. I have another tutorial where I show you guys how to create your own Dodge and Burn action. One thing with Dodge and Burn, I like to disable the frequency separation so that I will see the exact places to dodge and burn according to the original picture because when we do frequency separation we shift some of the highlights and shadows so if you do it directly on this you may be altering the image you know as a whole but I want to maintain the naturality so I will disable the frequency separation layer and then on the dodge I will choose the brush with a flow of 2%. I always love to manipulate my flow instead of opacity. So here we will just um, do global dodge and burn which is pronounce the highlights and the shadows. So this is being done on the raw image not the retouched one because I want to see the exact places to dodge. So let's see before and now. It's making sense. So with the burn, let me enable the frequency separation layer. Then we can focus on the burn. Okay, so we'll save it one more time and then we'll do before and after. So once I'm done with it, I can delete this and then disable dodge and burn, disable frequency separation, disable the blemish removal layer. So this is how we brought the image in here. We took off blemishes in the first one and then we went ahead and then did frequency separation and then we went to dodge and burn so this is it for today if you're watching this and you would want to send me your raw file so that i retouch them just like i did for this just go ahead and get in touch my email is in my about or you can reach me on instagram the handle will be displayed on the screen let me know in the comment section how you do your blemish remover what process do you use and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell so that you get notified anytime there's a new upload and oh kindly share this tutorial with anybody you know who benefit from it i hope this has been informative for you and i'd like to thank you for watching